one of the first things I made with uh, the new 3D printer was this lampshade for my daughter's room. It uh, is a model that I found on Thingiverse and it has um, these ribs that come down it and it's a really cool shape. And I just needed a, um, a lighting fixture from Ikea to do it. And then uh, the bottom opens up like this and uh, that's where you put this, the light bulb through. And I thought it would be nice to make something similar for my son's room. All right, so uh, Ikea sells these Henma kits. They're just uh, like the guts of a lamp. So it's just a heavy duty cord and uh, a switch is in the middle of the cord, I assume. And uh, then it's got a socket and an LED bulb. The socket uh, has a, uh, a little sleeve that comes off. So if you can 3D print anything, It'll have, uh, uh, with this uh, correct size hold, and you can slip this on or through, and then you'll basically make anything into a lamp. I knew uh, there would be plenty of skull models available on Thingiverse. It gave me a few great options, and the very first one looked perfect. It had uh, not too many facets, not too, many, too much detail, but it uh, seemed like it'd be great. So I downloaded a zip file and got the STL file out of it. That's the um, 3D model. And then I went ahead and opened up Cura, which is a slicer. That's the program that takes your 3D model and slices it into um, a bunch of thin layers that your 3D printer can put down one layer at a time. In Cura, I scaled up the model. I'm guessing that the original is about the size of a real human skull. And uh, so I scaled it uh, to uh, 140%, which was pretty much the largest that my 3D printer could handle at like 28 centimeters across. And uh, the Cura split it up and spit out a, a model in uh, G-code for my 3D printer to handle. Uh, it said it would take 16 hours to print it out. All right, so I've got the skull files saved on this mini SD card, and I'm gonna throw it into the 3D printer. And uh, it should take a whole lot of hours. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Holy shit, look at this thing. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's huge. Damn, that's awesome. Oh, it's gonna be spectacular. I want to start printing another one right now. It's just huge. All right, that works. I found this measuring cup and this light bulb uh, fits in pretty well. So I'm gonna try to heat this, the rim of this measuring cup out and then uh, using it, uh, I'm gonna melt a hole through the base of the skull. All right, I got this cup measure heating up to a ridiculous temperature. And then I've uh, got the skull uh, here. I want it to be sturdy. So I'm probably going to use some duct tape and tape that down.
Technically, this makes you a brain surgeon. Nice. Uh, will you see how it hangs if you hold it up by the light switch, uh, by the light cord? Oh, nice. I love it. Will you turn off the light? That's cool. Awesome. Because you can... It like stays for a sec. You see that? Yeah. Is it getting on the camera or is it just my eyes? Yeah.